Hello, beautiful people. How are you? Don't mind my state. At this point, it doesn't even matter anymore because I feel like we know each other on a personal level, so I can look like this. This is an extra special video because I'm letting you guys into one of my one of my most cherished one of the most cherished areas of my life. Does that even make sense? No, it does not. But one of my most important, one of the most important areas of my life, life, which is the fashion side of my life. So obviously I've done lookbooks, I've done looks and stuff, but the sewing side. So I'm gonna be documenting me making my final collection. And hopefully this video goes up before my actual deadline. Um, but you know, obviously the process is long, so I'll just be taking you through the process of making, taking you through, um, yeah, the process of making, the final product, even vlogging, like me purchasing certain things. Once obviously this lockdown is relaxed a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I'll just be taking you through the whole process and hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so this is the material I will be using. Um, yeah, so right now I'm going to cut out the pattern for my first um, outfit. Then I'll just be doing it bit by bit only because like... Um, I'll just be doing like one outfit, then make it, second outfit, then make it, third outfit, then make it, fourth outfit, then make it. I'm going to film each part. This is the material that I will be using for my collection. Um, I'll be using other materials and stuff like mesh and stuff for like obviously the corset and stuff like that. So let me actually show you guys my collection. Initially, I wanted to actually use um, this kind of print. I was going to scan it on some silk and stuff for my final collection, but obviously the the material that I had, because obviously at my uni in the department, they have like a, a digital printer for like materials and stuff. And they were just, she just kind of said like, she's not able to do it on like silk or whatever or whatever. So I just said, do you know what? Let me just buy material and I found this and this is within my color scheme, but I will be using other stuff like other colors as well. Like I'm gonna use turquoise and gold to give it that royalty feel. So I'm gonna show you guys my actual finale. Initially, this was going to be, um, initially this was going to be the lineup this is the lineup initially that i had however i do want to change this one after speaking to my teachers and stuff i just said i want it to kind of flow through with all of them so this one i will rethink it and definitely get back to y'all but yeah i definitely want to do some like days on um, something like this maybe for like another like project or something because i think it's kind of cute personally maybe i'll take away all these ruffles and just do it at the bottom just to match the bottom of this sleeve but i actually think this is real real cute but yeah this is my actual like lineup that i did um but like i said i'll reconsider but these ones i definitely love this this one's definitely my favorite one and i'm so excited to make it out of this material because it's gonna look so nice screen bag there that is my baby it's got all my patterns and stuff in it and yeah that that bag is life <laughs> i'm joking that bag has got literally everything so it's gonna make my life easier because i did all the patterns and yeah did all the patterns before this lockdown so yeah i'm gonna get cracking and i'll show you once i've cut my first outfit out <sighs> Hello, old friend. I've, I've, I've missed you. But she actually needs a clean because this is so bad. So I'm going to clean her. And obviously, I've now cut out these pieces. I'm just going to sew this part of like, it's like a corset kind of thing at the top, kind of like bodice thing. 
so I'm gonna sew that together so the corset part as well and obviously this is the thread I'm gonna be using so it's purple and then obviously use like this turquoise thread on like um, this just to add a pop of color because I don't want it to be completely purple and um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and clean her up and then I'm gonna film myself just sewing these pieces together So guys, I have completed the top part of my, the top part of that gown, that dress. What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? So yeah, that's what it is. And then obviously I'm going to, in this material, I'm going to do the other collections because this is what I wanted to achieve in this material. And you can see all the detailing is like this obviously at this point you guys <laughs> you guys yeah get used to this state but uh, um yeah in that material i'm gonna do the other garments so obviously my second one it'll be like the top and the trousers but the corset itself will be a mesh so i'll just be doing bits and pieces in that one material in the purple one that i showed you guys um and then Obviously, I'm going to be using different materials in this project. So, like, satin and mesh and stuff. They said I couldn't do it, but I'm going to do it. But I feel like because of how shiny the material is, it would actually work well together. And the vision I have in my head as well. So, I'm going to use satin. Okay, girl. And um, mesh. It's going to be like a purple, like the same purple, like satin for like the gown part of the skirt. And then you guys will just see, like you guys will just see. Um, and then, yeah, so let me not talk too much. I'll just be taking you through the process, through everything. And yeah, so you guys just see what I'm up to and what it is that I'm doing. All right, guys, so I've done the first one. That's the third one, like the third top, because I just thought, let me just do it in bulk. And I did this with the material that I cut out all of these, like the piece that was left. So obviously, I just had to do this all at one time. And as you can see, I did like um, turquoise thread for the detailing. So obviously, it matches with the, the corset part, which is going to be obviously turquoise like a turquoise um or ganza or mesh or whatever because i wanted to have the two colors in my collection i didn't want it to just be all purple but right now as you can see i've laid out my material and i'm gonna cut out my i'm gonna cut out the the second one which is just a square i did a square i did that is, oh my gosh, is it going to hold open? Let me just hold this, hold this to my foot, girl. So it's like a square that's literally 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres. And I'm just going to cut out two pieces with the material here. And then in the same material, I'm going to do this neckline as well. It looks quite big. But I assure you, it's not really going to be that big, especially when I put the pieces together. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right about now. And I'll show you guys once it's been cut out. So, you guys, I've done it. Cut it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, hem the sides like this. And then at the top and the bottom, I'm going to 
pardon me, pardon me, at the top and the bottom, I'm going to do gathering stitches and y'all going to see what it looked like when I attach it with the neckline as well. So guys, this is what I have so far. Woo! The tops of the three first ones. So with this one, I'm just gonna make it corset, just kind of like how I did this mesh thing, because I think it's so cute with the mesh. Um, and then obviously this one, I actually got the measurements wrong on my thing. So I just thought, okay, how can I make it look better without having to unpick it and stuff like that? So I'm just gonna like, Kind of like gather it here to give it a bit a bit of texture but at the same time shrink it and then i'm just gonna do the rest but what do you guys think what do you think it's cute right what do you think but yeah i'm just about to do my the corset of this and start the top of the fourth one and then all the bottoms will be done at one time but yeah. Hey okay guys, so for the um, last outfit, because obviously I said I'm going to do all the tops and stuff and then do the bottoms at once. So for the last one, it's literally like I have to improvise because I don't necessarily have the essentials to do like a pattern right now, as of right now, because obviously lockdown and stuff. But um, what I'm going to do, because I am trying to make... Okay. so basically i'm basically trying to make this kind of top so i'm gonna use like a bodice so i'm going so i'm going to use like a bodice that i already have and use the blocks from uni and stuff to do and kind of use the cutouts i did kind of re reuse the patterns i did for um uh, the outfit the second outfit because that's a kind of like corset thing i want to do i'm going to do it in this material i'm going to do it in this material and then the sleeve is going to be in this mesh this like turquoise mesh so yeah i'm going to um so basically what i did was i just basically kind of kind of kind of improvised so i had to kind of mark out on this bodice where it would stop in terms of neckline and then whatever's left will be um like the sleeve part and then i'll do all the other sides and stuff like that so stay tuned and the same thing i did for the corset in the third one the corset top the bodice part and I just thought you think it's cute and it's a contrasting colour as well. So what do you guys think? And obviously I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So the third one, the top of the third one is drawn. Just got at the skirt now. You guys like it? Yeah. I don't know if I do. Maybe when it's all joined together I'll like it more but I think it's cute though, still. It's kind of cute actually. Woo! Alright, on to the next one. Uh, uh, on to the next one. 